Hello, everybody, and welcome to the balcony here at First Presbyterian Church in Evansville, Indiana. It is just past noon on a Thursday, which means that we have some live music for you uh, from this wonderful space. I'm going to start today with a chorale, a little prelude by Winner Jean Hatch. Um, just this past week, a colleague of mine, Carol Grimm, brought me uh, a couple of compilations which she picked up in Canada a few years ago, and she said, I don't really need these anymore, uh, but here they are, and they contain a number of pieces by women composers. And so I've been exposed today uh, to the music of Winner Jean Hatch. Uh, her dates are 1930, and she died in 2015. Uh, she was a graduate of the University of Toronto in music and education, and she was a secondary school teacher, accompanist, vocal coach, and clinician. She directed a community handbell choir in London, Ontario, and wrote music extensively for groups in the area. As a church music director and organist, Winner Jean became a well-published composer of choral music for church and school. And in fact, I'm reading uh, this information about her off the Cyprus Choral Music Publishing Company. So today's, uh, the, the melody which uh, Winner Jean set is the tune St. Agnes, uh, which we sing to the words, Spirit of God, uh, turn the wrong way, Spirit of, oh, come Holy Spirit, Heavenly Dove. Uh, so, and you'll get to hear that uh, soloed out on our beautiful clarinet stop. I can use the clarinet this week. Uh, I'm indebted to my son William. He came and we spent uh, a couple of hours here yesterday tuning all of the reeds. So the organ is sounding much happier today. And uh, here is the little prelude on St. Agnes by Winner Jean Hatch. So I'm quite delighted to have found, uh, actually been donated uh, these uh, 
collections of pieces written by mostly Canadian composers in memory of Gerald Bales, who was a prominent uh, um, uh, conductor and church musician in Canada. So, uh, some music there by Winner Jean Hatch. Next, we are going to turn to music for Pentecost. And we're going to spend uh, the bulk of our time this afternoon with a melody, Komp Heiliger Geist. And um, you may be expecting the big Bach, uh, but in fact, we're going to be a little bit earlier than Bach today. And I'm going to start with a three-part setting, uh, which basically outlines the tune um, up in the um, upper part of the texture against some running uh, eighth notes or, or quavers if you're from the old countries. Um, so, a Kom Heiliger Geist, a chorale prelude by Friedrich Wilhelm Zachau. So, a stra fairly straightforward uh, chorale prelude there. In other words, slowing down the tune and just some flowing uh, accompaniment underneath with a fairly basic harmony. And now we're going to hear two settings by Dietrich Buxtehude, uh, the famous uh, North, uh, Northern European musician in, uh, that Bach walked uh, more than a couple of hundred miles to, to go and visit to hear what uh, he was doing, the one of the most famous musicians of his day. So you'll hear the same melody, but this time it's an ornamented chorale. And you'll also be able to tell that um, after the initial melody, each phrase is introduced in the accompaniment um, a little bit at a time. So one, one voice will come in with the shape of the melody, then another voice will come in with it, and the third voice, and then finally the ornamented melody will appear on top. So this is Kom Heilige Geist, Herrgott, Books WV um, 199.
And now, a related uh, Pentecost or Whitsuntide chorale prelude from Bach's uh, great Orgel Buchlein or Little Organ Book. This is Come Gott Schopfer Heiliger Geist, Come God Creator Holy Spirit Visit the Hearts of Your People. Um, it's, the, it's the same tune as the ancient chant Veni Creator Spiritus. And what's really interesting about this piece is its momentum and chugging along. But the pedal, pretty much, apart from a couple of spots at cadences, only plays on beat three, where it sort of highlights and punches out. It's like a stamping machine making, making rivets or something, um, harmonically. So you'll hear the melody up in the top voice. You'll hear some flowing parts in the middle, uh, kind of going, cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. And in the bass part, you've got one, two, boom, one, two, boom. And the reason for that is, of course, we imagine the Father, the Son, and this is the great celebration of the Holy Spirit um, creating the Trinity. So for uh, Pentecost and for the Holy Spirit, Bach is really emphasizing the point of beat three uh, as the representation of the Holy Spirit. So here is Com Gottschop for Heiliger Geist, BWV 631. really not sure why some things happen in performance that have never ever happened in my performing life before or practice life but there we are uh, hopefully the holy spirit will forgive me for good lord what was that anyway um finally today uh, we're going to go back in time in the liturgical year of the church and visit easter morning now you might think why didn't i play this piece sometime in the last six weeks and the answer is that i didn't have my children registering and turning pages because they were in school but my son uh, his academic year has come to an end and so William is going to come over and is going to turn some pages for me. This is a Toccata on Christ the Lord is Risen Today, arranged by Diane Bish, uh, the veritable queen of the organ, uh, certainly in America, if, if not the world, or, or I should say one of the many queens of the organ. Um, there are many uh, wonderful players so, uh, this is her arrangement. Uh, the, it, it features the French trumpet against lots of bright uh, sounds. I, I can tell you that um, uh, Diane Bish has extraordinary chops. She can keep her right hand going forever and ever and ever, and I just hope that mine is able to, to keep up with the demands of, uh, of what she asks for. Um, it's dedicated to her friend John Bolton and uh, is based on the tune Easter Hymn from the Lyra Davidica.
So, thank you very much again for uh, joining me today, this Thursday. Uh, next week we have a special guest, uh, Tom Drury, uh, another of my musical colleagues from here in town, will be uh, delighting us with his offerings. Thanks again to Jerusha and to William for their wonderful help today. Uh, join us in person or online for worship on Sundays at 8.30 and 10.30 on Sunday mornings. Have a wonderful day.